Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do your uh, weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Leo, how you start the reading is Oracle. It says, wait for important information. So you may be getting your wants. Your wants may be getting ahead of you, you know, coming before your needs. Um, you want something so badly. Um, and information is coming. It says, don't make permanent decisions on, you know, maybe temporary feelings or temporary information or something that is changeable because we do have a mutable sign some of you could be dealing with a mutable sign that would be sagittarius gemini pisces and uh virgo so yes yeah, some of you could be dealing with a mutable sign something changes out of the blue maybe you thought it was when it wasn't or a situation a relationship maybe a professional matter maybe even money matters in a relationship you thought something was when it wasn't or something is when it isn't or something just kind of gets turns on it turned on its head here um something changes it's mutable so they don't want you to make permanent decisions on maybe temporary feelings because a message of concern something that can bring uh discord disruption uh, message of concern is here for you okay um this could be you getting some some of course concerning news a delay a no answer not winning um you didn't get that judgment you didn't get that money whatever it is it asks you to shift your perspective and your focus because then the advice is it's up to you some of you could be dealing with an aquarius you have a lot of different cards that the aquarius got um it's up to you it's up to you to make this happen you're gonna have to take action at this point um, you can let it go. You can let it go by the wayside. You can let it fall apart or you can take action. This could be a relationship. This could be um, something to do with professional matters. Maybe you thought it was a yes answer when it was really no. Something just changes. I don't feel like it's out of the blue. It's almost as if you had a gut feeling that something was off. Um, something was stirring in your soul here. Um so let's pull some tarot here and see what's going on here because your your reading is pretty clear, pretty concise here. You may even have a conversation with a trusted friend that will help you see through the fog. It, it may seem as if their words are harsh uh, or vice versa. This is what you're doing, but uh, the words are only meant to help you see. Take the veil off your eyes here. Okay. Um, Let's see what's going on for Leo. What do we have for Leo? Okay. Yeah, the magician. Maybe somebody's words aren't mac matching up with their actions. Maybe you're having a hard time manifesting something. You're having a hard time bringing it into fruition. Your dreams, your wishes, your hopes. You're having a hard time making it real. Um, this has something to do with speech. Maybe you have to write a speech or a paper or something about that. Um, maybe you have to sell yourself or make sales or something is when it when it is not. Um, someone was saying something, but now it is something else. Ten of Wands coming out. That's a mutable energy. Sagittarius. Some somebody's luck luck is changing, shifting. Okay, so maybe someone was on a lucky streak and now they are not with the Ten of Wands here. It's like something is um maybe uh falling apart. Um, maybe somebody wants to make you the scapegoat now. Now that something has shifted or changed for them, this could be a masculine energy. We have. Lots of masculine energy. A powerful man says the magician here. Um, somebody in power. Okay. Um, this could be somebody here just showing up for something and then they're not having a clear, concise plan or answer to. An example would be just showing up for a job and not knowing. Let's say you did temp work, you not knowing if you're going to get hired on. You just kept showing up and. You really weren't pushing the issue and then you get, you know, the slap in the face. Oh, no, we're not going to hire you. You know, when you thought something was, when it really isn't, okay? With the Ten of Wands here, that could be that. You were kind of like on autopilot. Maybe for you, Leo, you were showing up for a relationship just on autopilot. And then here comes the 
maybe the the collapse the burden or the burden is lessened here like somebody says something to where it just takes all the frustration and the pain the burden away again back to maybe having a conversation with someone who brings you clarity maybe you just were in the fog you couldn't see what they could see um your person could be going through a lot uh it, it, it has nothing to do with you it could have everything to do with work or yeah maybe the family or just um i heard bills okay let's see what else do we have and this could be you i mean what else do we have what do we have for leo All right, King of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see Pisces and Scorpio in this card. Dealing with somebody who holds their emotions back very well. You can't read them in, turn, in emotionally, okay? Now, um, you have to know them to really read them. But even then, it's still kind of tricky there. They're emotionally mature, uh, emotionally um, balance so they know which emotion to bring out to that they want to show to others to the world right because they know how to balance it all out um this is also a people person this is also a husband this is somebody who has a lot of love a lot of loving energy but at the same time it could even be like uh, they could be emotionally manipulative something is going on with someone here that you're dealing with yeah, they, may, they could even be keeping a big secret from you. Again, professional and money matters coming up. Um, saying everything is all right and then something happens or you find something out. This is what I have for you, Leo. I hope that it resonates. I know it might resonate with a few people, not all. If it doesn't resonate with you, check back next week. Check another reader. Thank you for being here. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also um, get your own personal reading at the website level. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you.